guys welcome back to another video i am super stoked to be talking about this topic today because it's something that's super near and dear to my heart it's something i struggle with my entire life until i figured it out and i want to ask you a question why are some people so motivated and able to stick to a healthy diet and workout plan and actually enjoy it where the rest of us seem to struggle like crazy this all has to do with our self-talk the way that we talk to ourselves inside of our head is the driving force behind our willpower motivation or whatever you want to call it and the greatest thing about this is that it's super easy to change you don't have to believe in any kind of fairy tales you don't have to step out of your comfort zone you don't have to visualize for hours every single day or write down scripts of how you want your life to go you literally just have to start talking to yourself in a different way. I have been studying this stuff for a very long time and I talked about this extensively in my Lean and Clean weight loss guide. Some people got it, some people didn't get it, and I honestly feel like now I really want to write an entire book on this subject because it is the most important thing in your life if you want to change anything about your outside circumstances. If you want to change any habit about yourself, if you want to change the way that your body looks, if you want to change your relationships, the success that you have in your job, anything that you want to change has to come from the inside first. But today we're going to be focusing this video solely on weight loss. How to change your self-talk so that you can build effective habits, stay motivated, and love yourself through your weight loss process. I'm sure at this point in your life, with all the new age woo-woo out there, or even just watching my channel because I've talked about this a lot, you have heard of the idea that thoughts create things. Every single thing in our environment, in this world, has been created through a thought or an idea. The camera that I'm talking to right now was just once a thought. The light bulb was just once an idea. I was just once a thought that my parents had of having a child. Everything has been created through our thoughts. And there are three important things that need to change if you want to change anything in your life. The first one is your thoughts. The second one is your feelings. And the third one is your actions. These all go in succession with each other. We cannot change our actions or change our feelings about something until we change our thoughts about that thing. Your mind is the most powerful tool that you have and most of us are working against our minds because we're not aware of this creation process if you've been struggling with your weight for a while for your entire life maybe just after you had a baby you probably have negative thoughts about losing weight or about being healthy or about yourself in general and some of those thoughts might be it's so hard to lose weight I really hate eating healthy. I despise working out. Why am I so lazy? Why can I not get my shit together? You might look in the mirror and think negative thoughts about yourself. You might look at your thighs and be like, why are my thighs so fat? Look at my stomach. I cannot believe I let myself get to this point. Now, when I say this, the last thing that I want any of you to do is think about all the things that you think about yourself and start beating yourself up for it because all of these are valid thoughts these are something that you have created in your life you are taking notice of it and a lot of us think that once we take notice and take recognition of what we have created we usually feel like once we acknowledge that we'll be able to change it but a lot of what happens is we start to focus on it so much we let it bring us down we let it completely destroy our motivation and I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to change this thought pattern and start changing your life for the better in a second but before I get to that I want to share with you guys one of my favorite audiobooks in the entire world it is called breaking the habit of being yourself by Joe Dispenza I started listening to this recently once again which is what spurred this video I myself have gone through periods of obviously gaining weight and thinking very negative things about myself. I've gone through depression, I've gone through just feeling like crap about myself, thinking the absolute lowest of myself. And it's one of the biggest reasons that I haven't been super active on social media 
because I want to be a positive force in other people's lives. And if I feel like I'm not living up to that, how can I help anybody else? If you want to understand this concept and how to apply it to your life in the most incredible way possible, I 100% recommend getting this audiobook, listening to it when you are running, when you are cleaning, when you are doing the dishes. I listen to it when I'm at the gym, when I'm driving anywhere, when I am just cooking in my kitchen or doing anything. Like I love listening to audiobooks because I don't have to stop my entire day to learn something new and most of the time if i'm not listening to an audiobook i'm just listening to the same songs over and over again so i might as well be using my time in a productive way i'm also super excited because oh, my favorite audiobook company is sponsoring this video today audible if you guys have not heard of audible it is an amazing app that you can get on your phone you can also listen to it on your computer you can download an array of different audiobooks i really personally like to listen to audiobooks that are more of a self-help style but there's every genre of audiobook on this program. Audible is great on the go, whether you're at the beach, hiking with your friends, or road tripping. You can listen to Audible anywhere at any time. And listen up Amazon Prime members for a limited time. You can start an Audible membership and save 66% on your first three months, a total of $30 off. That's like getting three months of the price for one. You'll pay just $4.95 per month, for the first three months and after that it's only $14.95 per month. This offer is valid from the 1st of July to the 31st of July. Every month you will get one free audiobook and two free Audible originals from an ever-changing list. Visit www.audible.com slash highcarbhanna or text highcarbhanna to 500-500 to get started today. So a lot of what I've learned throughout the years has been through books like the Joe Dispenza Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. I've also read hundreds of other books. Today I'm just going to give you a really brief explanation of what you can start doing today to start changing your life because there is a lot that goes into this but it is actually very simple. I wouldn't say it's the easiest thing in the world but it is very simple. The only reason that it's not easy is because you are changing a lifetime of self-talk, a lifetime of habitual negative beliefs, negative habits, and you're changing all of that. So it's kind of like going into a garden where you have a bunch of plants planted already, but you haven't weeded it in a while. And you're taking out all of the weeds. And maybe you spend a few hours taking out all the weeds and it's a lot of work. Obviously the weeds here are symbolic of a lifetime of negative habitual thinking and negative habits that you have acquired. It's gonna take a little bit of time to change it, but once you take out all the weeds, you have so much space to start planting new positive thoughts and start developing new positive actions and habits that are actually going to get you to your goals and to where you wanna be. So the number one thing that you can start doing today to start changing all of this is start talking to yourself in a different way. A lot of us have, like I said, habitual patterns of talking to ourselves negatively. One thing I wanna mention is that when I first tell people this, they say, oh, of course my life is the way that it is because I talk to myself in the most derogatory way. I would never talk to anyone else ever like that. And they start realizing all the things that they've been telling themselves. But then they say, Hannah, I can't do this because I'm lying to myself. I can't tell myself that I only eat when I'm hungry and I never binge eat and I love exercising when like I am always eating and I hate exercise. The number one thing that I want you to realize is that as you currently are sitting in this form, in this space and time, you are a product of all of your past thoughts and actions and feelings surrounding yourself. Everything you've ever thought about yourself, everything you have ever felt about yourself has brought you to take the actions to get you to where you are right now. If you only look at where you are right now and you are constantly recreating where you are right now, all you're doing is living in the past. You're just recreating all of the past thoughts, actions, and beliefs that you have about yourself. So to create something new, you need to start creating new thoughts new feelings which will create new actions to propel you into a new life or a new body 
or a new career or whatever it is. To help you understand this a little bit better, when I was struggling with my weight about a year ago, I had completely forgotten about this concept. I knew it so well, I practiced it so well when I was first losing weight and I had originally lost 70 pounds. For some reason, I got into a really dark place in my life and I started just hating my life. I started hating the way that I looked. I thought, wow, I've lost 70 pounds. I don't look the way that I wanna look. I'm never gonna look the way that I wanna look. Why is this so difficult? Why is this so hard? And then it propelled me to just start creating all of these actions that were getting me further away from where I had gotten. So I started to overeat. I wasn't really like eating junk or eating like in a binge way, but I was just overeating all the time. I told myself, which I didn't even realize that I was telling myself, but I would just be like, why am I always so hungry? I am so hungry. I would tell myself, I love food so much that I am like just always hungry. I'm obsessed with food. My job is literally surrounded by food. I am a food blogger, like that's my life. So I am consistently always around food, always thinking about food, always creating food, thinking of new recipes, like helping people lose weight. And I was always focused on these things. So I thought that that was the problem, but it wasn't the problem. The problem was that I started to create all these negative thoughts around myself. I would be like, oh my God, I'm so lazy. I hate working out. At this point, I had never worked out. When I'd lost all my weight, I just did walking. I would even tell myself that I, that I hated doing YouTube. I was like, I'm over it. I hate doing this. And I stopped really being consistent and loving it and doing it for a long time. And it was really upsetting. It really propelled me to just start hating everything in my life. Everything that I had created from this beautiful place of positive self-talk I had destroyed and I didn't even realize that I was doing it. Once I realized what I was consciously doing with my thoughts and I brought myself back to all the lessons that I have in my Lean and Clean guide, I think it was actually, I was editing a new book and I wanted the formatting to be the same so I was reading my guide and I was just like, this advice is amazing. Why am I not even doing this anymore? Why am I thinking? the way that I'm thinking. And then it just clicked with me that I was perpetually stuck in this cycle. And the only way to get out of it was to start changing my thoughts. So what did I do? I created a few affirmations that really applied to my life. And this could be a really good thing for you. I'm not gonna say that you should say the same affirmations that I said because we all struggle with different things. But because I was like, always thinking, oh my God, I'm so obsessed with food. Oh my God, I'm always surrounded by food. Why am I always hungry? I just started to think in a different way. I started telling myself, I only eat when I'm truly hungry. And I would say this to myself all the time, like as much as I possibly could, whenever I was walking my dogs or doing something, I would just say, I only eat when I'm truly hungry. I only eat when I'm truly hungry. I only eat when I'm truly hungry. And I did this on a repetitive cycle because repetition is the fastest way to impress anything upon your subconscious mind. And I knew that from before. So this was one of the things that I started saying to myself. I used to also, if I did get hungry, I would focus on the fact that I was hungry and become so uncomfortable. Like until I ate something, I would just be pissed off and I would just be so focused on being hungry. I would like say to myself all the time, like, oh my God, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. And I would just be like so upset until I ate something. Now, if I get hungry, I just tell myself, I only eat when I'm truly hungry. And I'll repeat that. And then I will ask myself, am I truly hungry? And if I am truly hungry, what do I really want to eat right now? So then I would go and I would eat that I would be satisfied with that. I would stay present when I was eating that and move on with my day. There are a lot of other things that I could mention really quickly that I did, but I want to stick to the affirmations in this video, but there's a lot of things that I did. Like I would be present with my food. I would never ever think anything negative about my food. I would never think, oh, this isn't the healthiest thing I could possibly eat this is gonna make me fat or this is bad for me. I would never think anything negative about food ever. Whereas in the past, I'd probably be like, oh my God, I'm not eating perfect or I'm not doing this or I'm not doing that. And I would just be like, this 
this isn't good, this isn't healthy, this is junk food, and I would have all these negative thoughts about what I was eating. So I realized that food is just an energy and it interacts with us and we wanna think positive things about what we're eating. So I would stay present, I wouldn't be distracted with like Instagram or watching anything. I would be present when I was eating and I would think positive things about the food. I would even express like gratitude to the food and just say in my head, like as I was eating, thank you so much for all the nourishment and health that this food is bringing to my body. Thank you for all the healing, all of the energy and everything yada 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 like i would go on and on so the other affirmation that i would say to myself is instead of saying like oh my god i gained all this weight it's so hard to lose this weight because it was actually pretty hard for me to lose like the last 20 pounds and when i gained those 20 pounds back you guys oh my god it's devastating so in my head i was like this is going to be so hard to lose because it was so hard to lose it the first time and instead of thinking oh my god, losing weight is so hard, this is gonna be really hard, I can't believe how hard this is, I can't do this. I told myself, my body easily loses weight. My metabolism is on fire. I have the easiest time losing weight. That's what I would tell myself over and over and over again. I would never let these negative thoughts creep into my head and if they did, I would just replace them with a positive thought and say the positive thought a few times. The other thing that I did do is I didn't weigh myself because I realized that whenever I weighed myself, I would be like, oh my God, this isn't working or oh my God, this isn't happening fast enough or oh my God. And then it would just start to propel me into another negative cycle. And this takes time. This isn't gonna happen overnight and this isn't magic. Like the reason that this works so well is because when you're changing your thoughts, you're changing your subconscious feelings and your programming. So the way that you're reacting to everything in your environment is changing. You start to change, you know, the beliefs that you have surrounding food and exercise and everything about yourself. And then that changes the feelings that you have about yourself. And then it's so much easier to propel yourself into an action that is going to allow you to change that about yourself. So this isn't magic. It's not like, wow, I'm going to wake up one day and be 20 pounds less. It's just going to make it way easier than it is when you're working against yourself, telling yourself all the negative things that are pushing you into the wrong direction or pushing you further away from your goal. So the last thing that I would tell myself was that I loved working out. I had no idea the kind of exercise that I was going to do or that I wanted to do, and I had always hated working out my entire life. So I just started telling myself, I love working out, I love working out, it makes me feel so good, I feel so energized, I feel so confident and powerful and everything after I work out. It's my favorite part of the day and I would just like make up these stories about how much I loved things and how intuitive I was with my eating and how easy it was for me to lose weight and how like, on fire my metabolism was and I would just kind of make it into this like story and it would make me feel really good about myself. If you guys have been following me for a while, you've probably seen me go through um, like starting to work out at the gym and then stopping and then never going back until like a year later and then being like I'm gonna work out and I'm gonna get fit and then like never going back this time it really actually stuck and I can honestly say with every fiber of my being that I love working out I love going to the gym I love it so much and these were the three things that I really wanted to change so I wanted to change my feelings around food, how I interacted with food, and my like appetite because I was always hungry and I was always feeling like I was just obsessed with food and all of those things. And then I changed the way that I felt about weight loss. So I just started telling myself, it's really easy to lose weight. Like, I lose weight really easily, why wouldn't I? Like, I'm really healthy, I eat super healthy, I work out, I do all the right things, like why would it be difficult? It's not. And then I would even start thinking like, my body knows exactly what it needs to do. It knows that it has stored energy, it's not gonna freak out if I'm hungry or if you know I didn't eat enough protein that day or if I didn't do anything, like everything that my body needs, it has in the inside of it and I really gave over all of this trust to my body. So it was like such a beautiful experience. I'm still learning so much about it and I still 
obviously have negative thoughts about things from time to time, um, but I'm getting so much better at it. I just started to really apply this to my YouTube and the way that I feel others feel about me. So I've always like had this underlying perpetual fear that I was never popular and nobody really liked me and all this kind of stuff. Like I had this these feelings about myself forever and I've just started to change my thoughts around that and this has really just propelled me to look at every thought that I have and change the way that I think about it. And I can honestly tell you that this will change your life. It's not going to change it overnight, but you will learn that once you start changing your inner dialogue with yourself, once you start being loving and kind and excited and proud of yourself, everything is going to start to change. So I hope this video is helpful. I'm going to jump off because I feel like this video is the longest video I've ever made. But if you guys want to see more um, videos on this, just let me know any specific topics that you want me to cover because there's so much. But if you have any success stories, like I love listening to them. This is my favorite thing in the world to talk about and I would love to talk about it more. So yes, I <laughs> just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.